Hello everyone, so I'm just gonna walk you through our process of lino cutting and lino printing in Samrit, Thailand, the location of my artist residency. My we did some uh, graphic art with the teacher Asura Chai, local school with uh, uh, some of his students, and basically this method is almost the same as wood cutting. It's just a little bit of a different material for the board that you're basically cutting and carving to make the piece of art and it's printed very similarly to anything really. Uh, we had a sort of hand used printing uh, machine. I think that's what you could call it. I'm not exactly sure what it's called in English. Basically we we were just like <laughs> cutting our pieces and I basically wanted to take this as an opportunity to just document the process a little bit and observe what he was doing because um, he's very famous in this area and very successful as an artist. So I wanted to kind of follow along that um, and see how he does what he does. And as you can see, his technique is very controlled, unlike mine. My control um, is non-existent. <laughs> I basically, my working is very loose compared to his working, and that's something you can definitely learn from. And I just really liked how neat all of these circular images came in his piece of uh, carving. And then also with the printing, I found it very interesting to just like follow what he was doing and what he was um, doing with the, the colors and everything and how they all turned out because uh, basically when you when you cut these pieces out, they are the, the, the ones that end up being white. So you're kind of making a negative. So if I were to write my name, I would have to mirror it. And that's basically one of those complexity complexities to this art, this art form. Another one is that the, <laughs> the paint sometimes gets a little bit sticky. And it is a little bit messy, so if you ever want to do it, just keep that in mind. It's going to get messy, especially if you're not used to the paints at all. If you're doing it for the first time, it's very likely that you're going to make a huge mess. <laughs> and that's why an apron or um, like any shirt that just really sucks or a shirt that you, you don't really like, those type of clothes are good for this some practical tips from you. I was also given this like very large piece of uh, lino um, board and it was interesting to to create this piece like the carving because I haven't done it with this material in a while. The last cutting was wood cutting. That was the last thing I did. So um, it was so smooth, I just, uh, that's what I kind of really loved, because it was so smooth and uh, the carving just like, it was so easy. Then I also didn't have all that much time, I kind of did it very quickly. So that's something that I should have planned a bit better. I do really appreciate that even though the timing was like so quick and so spontaneously scheduled, they were still able to make it and we could do it all and yeah it was all quite a lot of fun it was also like interesting to have all these um we had all kinds of conversations while we were doing those and we were just like printing and carving all night long <laughs> and yeah i did really appreciate this opportunity to just be printing and doing all that.
with Professor Surichai and his class <coughs> at the end here. I'm just gonna say thank you. Thank you Sunrite people, everyone, um, for letting me experience this. It was very eye-opening and I think that's one of the best things um, you can do in art is to learn from other artists because we all have some some of our own techniques and ideas and our creativity is like it's a flexible thing it's something that basically doesn't have any limits in the end that is all for today thank you for watching and stay tuned for more vlogs bye